Right, today's video is a really, really quick tutorial on how I stacked my Comet images. Um, there's a few other methods out there, but for me, I found the easiest way was just to use Deep Sky Stacker. So, first thing we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to assume you know how to use Deep Sky Stacker. So, I'm going to open my, my lights. So, I'm going to select all my lights. Um, I've only taken lights and darks, so if you've taken bias and flats as well, I'll uh, I'd recommend uh, adding those as well. Right, I'm going to add my darks. Okay, once you've added all your files, make sure you, you select a check all, which I, I've already done that. Mine already does it automatically. And then you want to register checked pictures. Make sure stack after registering is unchecked. Okay, once all your pictures have been registered, you will see you've got all your uh, all your frames here, your lights and your darks. Now we want to pinpoint the core of the comet. So I'm going to select, I'm just going to go through and select a few random ones. Now I think you've only got to do this on a few, like one at the beginning, one in the middle and one near the end. But as I've got about uh, 63 frames, I'm, going to, I'm going to just going to do a few random ones. It's recommended you choose the ones with the higher quality. If you've got a completely black image, if you look on the top right, um, you'll see your little middle uh, pointer slide it to the left as i am and it should lighten up your frame there we go and i can see the core of the comet there but i want to i want to zoom that in a bit so i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to use the roller on the mouse just to zoom in a little bit there we go and then on the right hand side i'm going to press the little green comet button now what i'm going to do i'm going to put the cursor right on the middle of that core and left click and there we go that, that's going to pinpoint where the comet is which is going to help with the stacking okay so i'm just going to go down and do a few of those i'm going to as i said going to select the higher quality images okay once you've uh once you've uh, pinpointed the core of the comet go to the left left hand side panel and click settings Back in settings, select Comet, and then select Stars plus Comet Stacking, and select OK. Next, select Stack Checked Pictures. OK, so now we should have a stacked uh, image of a, a comet and hopefully no no streaky stars so i'm gonna what i'm gonna do i'm gonna quickly open up cyril and just do a really quick visual stretch just to see what we've got okay in without the stretch you can actually see a little bit of a towel let's uh let's give it a quick uh, a visual auto stretch and there we go we've got a comet and a towel uh, and that's all ready for editing Hope you enjoyed it and have fun. Keep looking up and explore the cosmos.